Fort Worth-based televangelist Kenneth Copeland says he's called forth a, quote, supernatural heat wave to kill the coronavirus in New York City and, quote, the rest of the world where it's needed. Copeland was joined last week by several ministers inside a mostly empty megachurch where he and the ministers commanded the atmosphere to send the supernatural heat wave. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention said it is not yet known if intense heat or humidity can kill coronavirus. It is men that have authority over the weather. Hello, my name is Zeus, the weather god. I eat, do it. Coyotes. Talk. Poop. Oh, Jim, Jam, Jim, Rice. Zeus, I'm real excited about that. Oh yeah, I was gonna that guy's do that. About to fix everything. The thing, you make that? it warm, really warm. Oh, Shelby, cool. Bunny. Thanks, man. Yeah, you're welcome. Hey, it's nice to meet you. I was just gonna uh, tell Zeus, you. Uh, got hmm? a brother? Cool. All right, have Porcupines a good day. Porcupines don't even realize the wrath of what I do, but it's more than science. It is men that have authority <laughs> over sickness and disease. It is men, most particularly particularly the body of Christ. Tarrant County's top elected official says that he's frustrated about an event underway at the convention center in downtown Fort Worth. The Southwest Believers Convention featuring televangelist Kenneth Copeland is happening all week long. The county judge says he has concerns about several hundred people gathered together during a pandemic, many of them not appearing to be wearing masks or distancing. This is the first true event to be held at the convention center since everything shut down in March. Public officials say that because this event is religious, under the governor's orders, it's protected. Most times, it wouldn't be unusual to see the Fort Worth Convention Center draped in banners and welcoming in attendees. But this is not a normal time. There were some concerns, absolutely. Jerry Alexander traveled from her home just outside Chicago. She says while she did have concerns, she felt comfortable attending the Southwest Believers Convention. We're actually social distancing in the auditorium, uh, wearing our masks, hand sanitizer. Uh, so yeah, everything is put together very nice. Under the governor's executive order, city and county officials say there wasn't much they could do to restrict the event since it's religious in nature. Asked about the event, Tarrant County Judge Glenn Whitley says he's frustrated. We have been told to stay away from religious events, from any restrictions whatsoever. and. Uh, you know, maybe I just don't understand the difference. I understand church and I understand state, and I understand, but I really believe that when that was, when our forefathers put that in the Constitution, it was not there to keep some, you know, from saying what we're we going to do to protect the health of a community. Attendees tell us organizers instructed people to wear masks and distance themselves. <laughs> the camera feed broadcasting the event suggests that wasn't at times strictly adhered to. Our instructions said to wear masks, and we're going to honor what Brother Copeland said to do. So I can't speak for why some of them aren't, but I know we're doing what we were asked to do. And for folks like Ronnie McClenahan, who's attended for 15 straight years, the virus wasn't enough to snap the streak. The teaching that I get here feeds my spirit, sets me up for victory for all the rest of the year. I reached out to Kenneth Copeland Ministries for comment, but did not hear back. A city spokesperson for war did say that convention staff and event organizers worked together to make sure that there were some safety protocols in place. Win! Win! Win. Almighty! Almighty! Strong! Strong! South wind! South wind! Heat! Heat! Burn this thing. Burn this thing. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Satan, you bow your knee. Satan, you bow your knee. You fall on your face. You fall on your face. COVID-19. COVID-19. I blow. The wind of God. The wind of God. On you. On you. You are destroyed forever. You are, you are destroyed, destroyed forever. forever. And you will never be back. And you will never, never be back. Yes, I don't need this disguise anymore. Um, I think I need to take a shower.
So let me get this straight. Uh, you're not a woman? No. 